Uh, and uh, we'll start with Mr. Dennis Wilson. Thank you very much, Senator. It's a pleasure to be here for you today, and I want to thank you for your service to the citizens of Texas for what you do. Uh, I'm here representing the Sheriff's Association of Texas, uh, the Texas Association of Counties, and the Texas Council. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you for last session. I know everybody got beat up last session and money was tight, and we really appreciate the money that you were able to allocate for the services, particularly in mental health. Uh, I will tell you that mental health is the number one platform issue for the Sheriff's Association of Texas this year. We have incredible problems, or we've had incredible problems in our county jails, and we just believe as sheriffs across Texas that, that mental health patients or mental health people should not be in our county jails. They are a tremendous, tremendous cost to our local taxpayers while we're footing the bill uh, for these to be lodged in our county jails. Uh, I also today we stand before you and like to be the voice of those Texans that often never have a voice and not all the people that have mental illness. Uh, they get lost in the system and sometimes they have no one to care for them. And it's a shame that we treat them the way we treat them because they deserve better. They're human beings and they deserve the services that this state could provide to them. Uh, there are a number of issues that we, we're involved in in law enforcement. We talk about civil beds, we talk about forensic beds. Uh, that's a big job. There are a lot of moving points of what's going on right now as far as being able to be in compliance with the court order and we understand that and we're willing to work with the groups. We have a number of uh, different agencies that are working together. Uh, I was in a meeting today with the Texas Jail Commission. They understand the problem. We all want to work together to the same goal and that's to try to get the right treatment and get these people in the right places for the right treatment. Uh, there are a lot of programs that have been put in place that are working and we understand that uh, sometimes the best money that is spent is not in the correction field, it's spent in the treatment field. And I guarantee you as sheriffs we support that 100% because if you can get someone turned around and get them on the right treatment and get them in the right environment, it makes life better for everybody. I will tell you that uh, a lot of these folks that are end up in our county jails are management nightmares. Our correctional officers are not trained to uh, administer the kind of care that they need and we just believe that the county jail is not the proper environment for these folks to be in there. So if I had my hat with me, I'd stand up and pass it around and tell you whatever you can put in it, we'd certainly appreciate it. But I will let you know that the Sheriff's Association, the Texas Association of Counties and the Texas Council stand side by side and we really want to attack this problem and we need your help and we'd appreciate anything that you could find funding wise that would allow us to improve the services that we're giving now to the citizens of Texas that deserve it but have mental health issues. Thank you very much. Sheriff, thank you very much for your testimony and uh, it is a big issue in uh, trying to deal with people who have uh, mental health problems and using our jails as a place to warehouse them which is not right. Yes sir. Thank you.